In today's video I'm going to replace the final gear oil in a 1990 Suzuki VX800 motorcycle. Pretty simple procedure. We got the filler plug up here. That's a 17 millimeter I believe. It is 17 millimeter there and the drain plug down below here 21 millimeter. So obviously it's a shaft driven bike and we're going to replace the gear oil. For this procedure we want the bike on a level surface and on the center stand which you can see it is on there. I'm going to remove the filler cap here keep myself at a bit of an angle trying to stabilize the bike. Is that pretty tight? Counterclockwise as always. And whenever I change oil and something like that, I like to just kind of see how much was in it before I actually changed it out and maybe you can see there that that actually was full to the top as it should be. Just gonna actually set that aside. Okay, I've got my drain pan here for the old oil. 21 millimeter bolt for the drain plug. And as I say, this bike's on the center stand, so I'll try to stabilize it a bit here as I remove that. There we go. That wasn't too tight. I may have to hold that pan underneath a bit here. And there goes the old oil. Gonna hold that under there. Oops. And turn off the camera. We'll let that drain out. So, the old oil has drained out. Not really that much oil in there. Instruction manual says to put 200 to 220 milliliters in. And for instance, this one liter container, well, it's obviously a thousand milliliters, so we're only putting 200 in there. So that will be the step we're going to do after we put our drain plug back in. Looking at this from underneath is always confusing. We're obviously going clockwise to install it. Being very careful not to screw up our threads here. Let's see if I can get that on there at this funky angle. Okay, there we go. And uh, I think I mentioned I cleaned off that plug with a lint free cloth. I did a fair bit of cleaning because a uh, magnet on there. Now we're going to set our ratchet floor. Righty tidy. Tighten that up a bit. I never get too aggressive. We'll run it afterwards and check for leaks. Now there's our drain plug. Installed. Cleaned off. Really good because as I say there's a little magnet on there that uh, collects filings out of the shaft drive. Okay, so now I'm going to slowly add the shaft drive oil, hopefully without getting it all over the place here. Well, basically, the owner's manual says to add that until it comes up to the level of the filler hole. I'm also going to take this gasket off and give that a little cleaning too and put it on the uh, filler plug. Anyway, I'll just keep adding that till it's at the top. So hopefully that'll uh, come out on the camera. There's the oil filler cap. We can actually, or the oil filler hole there. We can actually see that the oil is up to that level. Um, cleaned off the filler cap itself. Reinstalled that. 
made sure that rubber washer is on there. Basically now I'm going to take this for a drive and then recheck the level. Got to find my other socket there. So I found my 17 millimeter socket. As I say, I'm going to tighten that up, take this for a little run on the highway, come back, and just make sure the level hasn't gone down any. That's it for this video.